Hey everybody, um, this is a disruptor over here uh, looking at PBYA Probability Media Corp. I got nothing on DD on this, but um, but I tell you, I was looking at this bullish, <laughs> bullish looking chart, and I decided to just give it a look over uh, and see, see what I could take out of it. You know, um, and and I gotta say, you know, it just damn um, the I mean, it is just riding that twenty. Uh, that's the red. That red line right there, it's riding that 20 really well. Uh, clearly, the 20 is going up. The the green is my 50-day uh, simple moving average. That's going up. Plus, underneath all of that, you have a 200-day simple moving average with upward mobility. So, I mean, there, there's solid trend here. Um, you know, if I if I swing down the MACD, uh, clearly above my uh, my signal line right there with the histogram. Um, curious here about the little curve down you know usually when the mac curves down you know usually you're talking about a, a drop and when i go back up here i see clearly oh yeah yeah this has had a this had a bit of a of, of an up and down you know this is this is definitely a stock i would want to buy on the uh the, the bottom of the trend uh channel i would not uh sorry bottom of the price channel i would not want to be buying that up on top or else I would seriously get burned. Um, and you can just see each of these have these just wow, gigantic upward wicks. Prices getting pushed down hardcore. And uh, and all of that's shooting off big volume bars, right? So you got a big volume bar, got some big volume here. Uh, but underneath all of that, if you look at just this base, if you're not even looking at these... I don't know if you want to call these like parabolic moves or these big gigantic shoots up. If you weren't talking about that, if you're just talking about the trend, that trend, this is a nine month time range. So that's April. April, I could have gotten in wisely at 0 0.0006, triple zeros, and now be up here at 0 0.0021. I mean, Damn. I, mean, I mean, screw the the big giant, you know, hoopas. I want to ride that train, man. I want to ride that train. That that is good looking stuff. Now let's let's jump into a three month. Um, you know, I always like shooting my uh, time ranges um, into factors of three or five. Here you see that trend line even more clear. Uh, I would say that if I did get caught up in one of those. I would, knowing that this has such a trend to get pushed back down, I would take, I would, I would sell 50% of my position, no doubt. Um, and then when I got to the bottom, I just buy more uh, at a much, much better price. I would do that over and over again on this. I mean, this thing did this three times over the course of three months. I mean, just Jesus. Um, one thing I was noticing when I was looking at this, you know, you got this doji candle right there. Uh, that that's interesting usually uh, and you know I think when you pulled it up uh, it said unch you know which means you know ain't, ain't nothing happening today so this might be an ideal time to get in if you're uh, if you're kind of cool with the risk um, but if I jump up here to ADWM my uh, my Williams accumulation distribution which I use by sell signals I'm seeing right here I am solidly in sell country Right, I am below the moving average, uh, which makes me think I've got about two options here. One, buy on the doji, right? Or two, I wait for a buy signal. It really depends on how your confidence and your uh, your base, of, you know, your attitude towards the risk. Now the um, you know the uh, sorry the on balance of volume here moving up, looking good, and that's important because the stock depends so much on these big volume jumps i'm really curious what happened on those days uh, i'd love to know more about that rsi i'm looking at a 58.21 which means to me that if it keeps moving up it's got lots of nice runway there uh get up to a uh, to 70 uh into overbought usually things will hang out in 70 for a little bit 70 plus uh, plus that run from 60 to 70 is always good um I just uh, I don't know, man. I'm I'm thinking this thing's pretty volume dependent, but it looks like it's got some volume bars. Obvol um, is is rising. I probably scale in on this. Um, you know, I scale in on just about everything, but uh, but I would scale in on this uh, just because you know that's not above a buy signal line. 
Um, I definitely want to get it at the bottom, and if it goes down further, I want to be able to five times my position. So if I go in really simply, if I go in on 100 bucks right here in the doji, and then I hit that um, that uh, 20 day SMA, I'd want to be able to uh, raise it up five times. So from 100, I want to be able to add 500 dollars more down there to make sure that I average down into my uh, my new position, my new entry. Great, great looking chart, bullish as all hell. Look at the bulls on that one. 